Hey guys, good evening. Good evening. Is my hat straight? <laughs> good evening, guys. It's Harold Dillum Jr., Internet Guy from Investment Group Partners. We're live. Uh, this is After the Bell. It's Tuesday. It's day 232 of Christian Financial Wellness, 232 of 2023. God's days, not man days. Uh, we do this every day that God allows us to. This is after the bell. Uh, this is the evening part of the program. Things are happening right now uh, in other countries. Markets open in India. The Asian markets are about to open based on the time of the day. You know, the, the globe of the world turns. So as the world turns, that was a soap opera, we get to see and understand more things. Uh, I want to say good evening to everybody. Uh, good evening to those that live on the East Coast. It may be, what, 9 o'clock there, 6 o'clock here on the West Coast. Uh, just want to give you guys some updates. We're, we're in the second month. Well, we're ending the second month of the third quarter. We got one more month to go when Q3 is over. And, and I'm excited because this time last year, we were in a bear market. This time last year, we were focusing on buying um, the dip on key stocks. Uh, uh, Tesla, TSLA, in August, they did a stock split. So the stock went from $1,200 to $200. In July of 2022, um, Google did a stock split. Stock went from $2,100 to $135. And then Amazon was the first one to do a stock split in June of 2022. And they went from $2,000 to $150. So when they did these stock splits, it was designed to, to blanket the market and give everyday traders like us, everyday retail investors, an opportunity to buy stock in Tesla at an affordable price. So when a stock split happens, some people don't like them, but we profited off the stock split. So you had Tesla, Google, Amazon, June, July, and August of 2022 do a stock split. That allowed us to buy the stocks 50, 25 and 50 lots at a time. Lots just mean a portion, a segregated portion. So we were buying 25. The goal was to get to 160 shares of each company this time. Started last year, but this time to be there. So we're just about there um, with the changes, even with all the changes that are being made, we're heavy in what they call the Magnificent Seven. These are seven tech stocks that are doing well for us inside the neighborhood. So we started with three. The three that we started with was uh, Google, Amazon, and Tesla. Not necessarily in that order, because the order was June, Amazon, that was their stock split of 2022, the stock's now trading, and let me get my numbers up. I guess we should be up and running. After our is, is closed, after our market is closed, the market's traded up today on good news, and we thank and praise God for the good news. Remember, a lot of what happens in the stock market is based on information. And so unlike traditional traders, or unlike most of the world, we base everything we do on biblical principles. So God tells us in all of thy getting, when you're gathering information, get an understanding. And when you're gathering this information, we have to study what we're gathering. This is why in 2 Timothy 2.15, God says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Studying the scriptures on how I can utilize these scriptures in my everyday living. So when we teach Christian financial wellness, that's the lesson. And inside the lesson is stewardship principles. How do I apply these stewardship principles in my everyday living? And that's why we study. We study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman if needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So that means if I need something for uh, my child being sick, if there's a prayer, if there's a word from God, if there's a reminder, then I can go to the scripture because scripture is alive and well. So with all that's going on, we still have to be able to maintain our position in God in spite of what's going on in the market. Y'all y'all, y'all understand that. Hopefully I'm clear because sometimes uh, I think I come a little faster and some people don't get it. So I want to slow down. Christian financial wellness is the lesson. Inside of the lesson is stewardship principles. We teach stewardship based principles from the Bible and how to apply these stewardship principles into our everyday living. Doesn't matter what they are. Doesn't matter what you decide to do. 
It, it, we're called from Proverbs 13, 22. Who are we? We're investment group partners. If you've never been here before, if you've never talked to us before, if you've never been on any of our live podcasts or broadcasts, we're on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Facebook. We're all over the place. And we're purposely there because God told us investment group partners with a parent association for Community Investment Club. If you're watching me live right now, because we're live, that means you're already a member of the club. Is my hat straight? You're already a member of the club. And being a member of the club means you have to classify what's my level of membership. So Investment Group Partners is the parent association. We're the Nevada Corporation. We're, we're recognized by the state of Nevada as a perpetual association. We're the ministry. So we're the parent. Underneath the parent, there's Community Investment Club. That's where you are right now. Community Investment Club is a private online community set up for retail investors. It's where we teach the stewardship principles or the guidelines of Christian financial wellness. That's the lesson, Christian financial wellness. How do I get to the end result? Expectations called from Proverbs 13.22. I want to make it simple tonight. I'm not going to be screaming and yelling. And, you know, I like to get all loud and obnoxious. I love it because that's enthusiasm. But tonight I want to slow it down, give you an understanding so you know what we do. This is part of our Why Buy series. And when we say Why Buy, don't let the names confuse you. Don't get it twisted. A lot of people, they come investment group partners. Yes, we're a ministry. We're a called ministry from Proverbs 13, 22. A good man, a righteous man, an honorable man, three different translations, leaves an inheritance for their children's children. And the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. And God revealed to us inside of Proverbs 13, 22, he revealed to us there is a three-step process. The first step is position. You've got to be in position. In order to receive what God has given for you, you've got to be in position. So Proverbs 13, 22 revealed three different revelations on getting us started so we can get to the end result expectations. What's the end result? The wealth of the wicked is stored up. So we're interested in the stored up wealth. And now we realize that in order to get to that stored up wealth, we might have to deal with the wicked. <laughs> Here's where the study in God's word comes into play. The Bible says, be as wise as the serpent, but as harmless as a dove. Know them that labor among you. Those two scriptures are, 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 are important in understanding where you're about to go to. The end result expectation, stored up wealth that belongs to the wicked. <laughs> Hallelujah. But in order to get started, there's a three-part process inside of Proverbs 13, 22. Step one position. You have to be in the right position in order to receive what God has for you. There's something God has called you to do. There, you, you're the called, you're the chosen. We call them righteous managing stewards of God. Doesn't matter what you're called to do. You need to be in position. Your calling could be an evangelist. Be in position. Your calling could be a father. Be in position. Your calling could be a teacher. Be in position. A cop, a lawyer, a teacher. Be in position. Wherever you are, God wants to grow you because you can't understand or get to the end result expectation God has for you until you're in position. Three-part process revealed in Proverbs 13, 22. Let me tell you how important a position is. And we're just dealing with the first part. Guys, listen, if you're just now joining us, my name is Harold Dillon Jr., the Internet Guy from Investment Group Partners. We are the Parent Association for Community Investment Club. Tonight, we're talking about the uh, process of where we're called from, the Why Buy series is what we call it. And the reason why the Why Buy series is important, because I don't want you just saying, well, why did we buy that stock? That's not the question. The question is, is why did we even look at that company? What gave us the, what, why do we have seven stocks and not five? And why do we have eight stocks and not nine? These are the questions that just should be filtering through your mind. That's why we call it the Why Buy series, to give you an understanding of how we move. You need to know how we move. It is imperative that you know, because you're an active investing member inside of a club with hundreds of other people. You need to know how we move. Why do we do that? Why do we do this? Why don't we do this? Those are the questions that should spark up. And so what we do, let's start off from the beginning. Community Investment Club. That's the club. That's where you are right now. CIC, Community Investment Club. It's a private online community set up for retail investors. This club is set up to teach you how to establish, manage, and maintain the framework of your family's financial future. Here's where we invest our funds together. Inside of this club, are, are inside of this neighborhood or this community is nine different neighborhoods. 
These neighborhoods are known as portfolios. We call them neighborhood managed group portfolios. Each of these neighborhood managed group portfolios are where the club members inside a community investment club invest together. Now, there's three types of memberships, three levels. There's an active investing member. Active investing members are the ones that participate in group portfolio club investing. What is group portfolio club investing? It is the process of pulling your funds together, creating a buying power or platform that, that has a greater buying power than an individual investor would have trying to do it on their own. That's the actual process. It's called group portfolio club investing. We utilize group portfolio club investing inside community investment club. What is community investment club? An online community of retail, retail investors. We pull our funds together. The product is called neighborhood managed group portfolios. We have nine neighborhood managed group portfolios, nine. Each of these portfolios can have up to 100 members. This is helping you better understand. I should have did this a while ago, but it's better understanding. As we are growing, our goal is to have 12 neighborhood managed group portfolios. Right now, we're at nine. Out of the nine neighborhood managed group portfolios, three of those nine are at capacity. What does it mean to be at capacity? Capacity means that they've already reached 100 members. Once a, one of our neighborhood managed group portfolios reaches 100 members, it's at capacity. No one else can get in or get out until open enrollment. Open enrollment comes four times a year. We're coming up on open enrollment. If you got in between the last open enrollment, which would have been, let's see, January, February, March, that's one quarter, April, May, and June, would have been June 22nd through July 3rd. If you got in between June 22nd and July 2nd, because that's the 10 day for open enrollment, you will be getting a statement. You will be getting a statement September 22nd through October 2nd. That's the open enrollment. The open enrollment period is set up for active investing members, not for new members, not for not not for self investing members, not for uh, learn as you earn members. The open enrollment is set up for active investing members, people that are already invested. Invested how, Harold? Through group portfolio club investing. That's the process. The process is called group portfolio club investing. If you invest in something else, what does that do, Harold? That allows us to pool funds together, reduce and eliminate the risk that an individual investor may have trying to do it on their own. The process we use, some people call it crowdfunding. We call it group portfolio club investing. The group portfolio club investing, the process is used inside of neighborhood managed group portfolios. Our portfolios are the literal neighborhoods or the individual clubs that we belong to. Like, for instance, I belong to eight of the nine neighborhood managed group portfolios. So every month when I decide to do a, a member contribution, I look at the minimum and the maximum amounts that I can add to my neighborhood managed group portfolios. What are some of those portfolios? Well, let's look at some of them. So everybody can get an understanding. Hey, guys, if you're just now joining us, I'm Harold Dillon Jr., the Internet Guy. This is After the Bell. This is our Why Buy series, helping everybody get a better understanding because God says in all of your getting, all of your studying, all of your doing and participating, get an understanding. Why would you do something you don't understand? You have to learn how to first utilize God's word into your everyday activities. This can't be being saved just on Sunday, Wednesday, and sometimes Friday. This is an all day, every day, without fail, no exception type of thing. This is an inside job. You save, sanctify, filled with the Holy Spirit. Didn't say you were perfect. But if you learn how to utilize God's word into your everyday activity, you'll be a better steward for God. Because we teach you how to be a better steward of God's time, God's money, and God's word. Those are the three things we know. If you know something else, please reveal it to me. Let me talk about it. But we're going to talk about right now, so I'm going to go to a lot of you guys are already active investing members. A lot of you are already participating in group portfolio club investing. A lot of you have already got either your welcome initial email showing you distribution, receipt of funds, and what portfolios you belong to. Some of you have got all of that but still have not connected with me on Facebook. So let me explain that while we look up 
the nine neighborhood managed group portfolios. I'm looking for a getting started email. They're going to want. So once you get your initial member email, this is an email of receipt of funds that you get in, re in, in distribution where your funds went to. So this initial email comes. It normally says welcome. And it may have your name. And it says your initial membership contribution. That email comes from member services at investmentgrouppartners.com. You got to check your junk mail. You got to check your spam. And I'm encouraging you to read through the entire email. The Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Everybody wants to be successful, but nobody want to do the work. I'm expecting you to do the work. Everybody want to go to heaven, but nobody want to die. And that, that's, that's what God calls selfishness. So we want you to read through so you can get a better understanding of how everything works. So we're going to go first to the welcome email. All right. So you signed up. Hallelujah. You got your getting started email. We're going to go backwards. But inside of this email, it'll say good morning or good evening. Pretty much the same because it's a template that we use. As always, we pray that you and your family are safe, secure, and blessed. Inside the email, it'll say your initial monthly membership contribution, or MPA. MPA stands for a member's, a member's portfolio account. So if you join and you're part of the neighborhood managed group portfolios, even if you're in one, you have an MPA. All right? So now the individual MPA, if it's just you, has been updated and matched. Let's say you did... $600. So $600, you'll get a dollar for dollar match. Your 600 becomes 1200. It gives you the date that the money was received, Wednesday, August 23rd, with full calendar quarter for open enrollment options. What is open enrollment? Open enrollment is set for active investing members. Open enrollment comes four times a year. The last month of the quarter, starting on the 22nd of that month through the second of the new month, which starts also the new quarter. For instance, if you started between June 22nd and July 2nd, you get a statement September 22nd and October 2nd because you've completed a full calendar quarter. Anything after July 2nd, you get a your first statement December 22nd. That's open enrollment. That's how this thing works. You have to have complete a full calendar quarter, 90 days. During that open enrollment, what can I do? Well, you get it four times a year. So four times a year, you can add things. You can add money. You can cash out, close, and dissolve, which means that you can take your profits and run. It's up to you because God said make a way for escape. So we set everything up based on biblical principles. Um, you can move money between uh, portfolios because if you're in nine neighborhood managed group portfolios and seven are doing good and two aren't, you can uh, figure out what's going to make it work because your statement is going to show your rate of return. Your quarterly statement, when it comes out, it shows what you made, what you lost, what you didn't lose. And it shows the individual increases and losses for each neighborhood managed group portfolio. We have nine, nine neighborhood managed group portfolios. Each of the portfolios stand on their own two feet. Each portfolio has its own EIN number. Each portfolio has its own stocks. The only stocks that share across multiple portfolios are the three we started with when not started the company with, but we started the conversation with this evening, which was Google, Tesla, Amazon, not necessarily in that order. The order is actually Amazon, Google, and Tesla. Those three we bought last year on stock splits on expectations of owning 160 shares that at the end of this quarter, we all get a larger payout. Those are the only three stocks that will, will, will be across multiple platforms. Other than that, every one of the neighborhood managed group portfolios, there's nine. I'm keeping everything simple tonight, guys. We use the KISS rule, keep it simple, saints. <laughs> keep it simple, saints. Use that one. So inside of your initial email, it will tell you your monthly investment contribution has grown. This particular individual did $600. So it has grown to $1,200, which means they got a dollar for dollar match. That's important to know because automatically we've placed this individual in a position of purpose. Remember, I told you we're called from Proverbs 13, 22. Who are we? Investment group partners. Who's investment group partners? They're the parent association 
recognized by the state of Nevada as a perpetual association. That means we're incorporated right here. Our orders of corporation are right here in Nevada. But we oversee Community Investment Club. So like you have kids, you're the parent. We, the Community Investment Club is one of our kids. Or in business, it's a subsidiary. This subsidiary is a private online community for retail investors. What's the name? Community Investment Club. You're watching me right now on Community Investment Club. You're already a member. What kind of member are you? It depends. You could be a self-investing member, which means I do this thing anyway, Harold. I'm just following your lead. You and the other people on the collaboration team, we like your trades. We follow your trades. I already got my full service brokerage account. I've already been investing. I do options. I do puts. I do calls. This is what the... Uh, this is what a, a self-investing member does. They've already got experience. Now, self-investing members also can be an active investing member. A lot of them what we call a double dippers. Hold on. A double dipper is just an internal thing we say. If that I, I'm a self-investing member, but I'm also an active investing member. So if, if, if the club buys uh, Amazon, I'm a buy Amazon. Self-investing member. Also an active investing member, but a self-investing member knows what they're doing already or have some sense of investing. Then there's a learn as you earn member. Learn as you earn, which means we show you baby steps, how to navigate through a brokerage account and how to buy trades or duplicate what we do. But we start you on a smaller scale. Now, that training is about to intensify. I want you everybody to hear me. So if you want so because we made a major change last week that was completed this week on brokerage accounts. We put the we put the post out there. This is the reason why you got to follow me on Facebook. This is the reason why some of y'all, when you get your initial email that we're going over right now, it says link up with Harold, follow me or friend me. So then the social media team can put you in the neighborhoods. The neighborhoods are literally message boards on Facebook. We use Messenger. Why wouldn't we use social media? It's what everybody else uses. You've already got the habit. Remember, we're habitual people. You already have the habit of using social media, looking at social media. So we don't want to change your habits. All we want to do. Well, actually, let me say that again. We do want to change your habits. We're just not going to change the position that you're used to doing no more. Because one of the things that God told us, revealed out of Proverbs 13, 22, there's a three-step process. One is position. It's position. So we do want to change your habits in the position you are. Because you've got to learn how to grow right where you are. So when the Bible says, in Ro and I'm going to tell you how important positions are. I know I sound like I'm all over the place. But no, I'm sticking with one subject here. And the subject is getting to the end result expectation that God would have for us out of Proverbs 13, 22. The wealth that's stored up. We're at the end result. But in order to truly get to the end result, you got to start at the beginning. That beginning is getting an understanding. You, many of y'all, don't have an understanding. And God was dealing with me on this for the last three days. So I said, Lord, I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to talk to the people tonight. I'm going to talk to them tomorrow night. And I'm going to talk to them the next night until we know we get an understanding. Is that fair enough? We want to get an understanding. So Romans, I'm in the NIV. Everybody knows the scripture, but I'm going to read it again. God tells me to read it again. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So while you're in that position, we do want to change your mind. And we want to change your habits on how I do things in that position. What happens is a lot of us are bouncing all over the place. We don't want to maintain our position. You know, you married her, maintain your position. You had them kids, maintain your position. You said God told you to join that church, maintain your position. It's imperative that you maintain your position. That is step one in the three-part process revealed in Proverbs 13, 22. So while you're maintaining your position, you've got to learn. You've got to study. You've got to get an understanding. I need you to have an understanding. So you get your initial email. Your initial email breaks up your individual MPA. MPA stands for what, Harold? Member portfolio account. You have a member portfolio account. If you're an active investing member, you have a member portfolio account. You might hear me abbreviate or some of our staff or team members say MPA, Mary Peter Anointing. MPA stands for membership portfolio account. You have one. She has one. He has one. We have one. It's a membership portfolio account. 
So now, inside this account, this particular person has now $1,200. They started with $600. They got a dollar for dollar match. Now they're at $1,200. The email you initially get is your receipt of funds and distribution. And inside this email, it's going to tell you in order to qualify for the dollar for dollar match, you have to get into one or all four of the encouraged available portfolios. Neighborhood managed group portfolios. How many? Nine. How many qualify for the dollar for dollar match? Four. What are they? Domestic group investment fund portfolio. That, that's a cannabis, all cannabis. We call it DGIF, all cannabis. So that portfolio is important. You want a dollar for dollar match? You got to join one of them. The next one is Minority Urban Mixed Fund Group Portfolio. What is that? It's a neighborhood managed group portfolio. What can a, por uh, a portfolio have? Each portfolio can have up to 100 members. At 100 members, it's at capacity. No one leaves. No one gets in until the end of the quarter. When does the quarter end? The last month of the year, starting on the 22nd to the second month of the to the second of the new month, which starts the new quarter. How, when do I get my statements? Every fourth quarter after you've completed what? A full calendar quarter. When does the quarter start? At the end of each month, at the end of the quarter. So, for instance, this is the third quarter. We're in the third quarter. The, a calendar quarter means January, February, March. That's one quarter. So between March 22nd and April 2nd, open enrollment for active investing members. How many members are there? There's over 1,500 members in the club. What's the club? Community Investment Club. It's a private online community set up for retail investors. Oh, inside of this community are nine different neighborhood managed group portfolios. These portfolios can have up to 100 members. Every one of the portfolio has its own, stands on its own two feet, has its own guidelines, its own strategies, has its own end result expectations. The only three stocks that, that cross reference every neighborhood managed group portfolio is Amazon, Tesla, Amazon, Google and Tesla in that order. That's how we bought them. June of 2022, Amazon. Uh, July of 2022, Google, or the parent company is Alphabet. August of 2022, Tesla. Other than that, every portfolio has its own strategy. So the domestic group investment fund group portfolio, it's all cannabis. It buys everything that deals with cannabis, whether it's the wrapping, the actual drug itself, whether it's the, uh, the stuff for the dog, whether it's the oil, the CB, whether it's one of the companies, doesn't matter. It's all cannabis. The next one is the minority urban mix fund that invest in minority owned businesses that trade publicly, not necessarily all black minority owned, but we look for black owned businesses if they're profitable. I'm just not going to deal with a business because they're black if they're not profitable. Because at the end of the day, we're, we're, we're judged. God's going to say, I'm looking for a return. We'll get to that in a minute. But God is looking for a return. Why would I waste his funds in an unprofitable venture? That's where wisdom comes in there. Next one is tax savings family fund group portfolio. The ones I'm going over now, if you're just now joining us, are the four portfolios that we're encouraging that you have to join to get a dollar for dollar match if you're a new active investing member. Well, what if I'm already a member, Harold, and I want the match? You can open up a gift account. What's a gift account? Buy something for your wife. She don't even know she has it. Buy something for your grown kids. Because we do things kind of like the world does, but we're not really going to obtain generational wealth. You can't buy your way into wealth. You have to work your way. You have to follow guidelines, rules, and regulations. Remember I told you there's a three-part process called from Proverbs 13, 22. The first part of that process was position. And I said, how important is position? God sent me to Psalms 1-1. How important is position? Blessed is the one, I'm talking about position now, blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Position. Blessed is the one that does not stand in the way that sinners take. I'm talking about position. Blessed is the one who does not sit in the company of mockers. What I'm doing is I'm reading the line, Psalms 1 and I'm going back to bless is the one. Because the person that's in position is blessed if they don't, if they don't walk in step with the wicked. <laughs> position. The person that's blessed is the one that does not stand in the way that sinners take. The person that's blessed does not sit in the company of mockers. That person is in position. And guess what they do? 
Their delight is in the law of the Lord. They meditate on God's law day and night. And it goes on to talk about that person is like a tree planted by streams of water position, which yields its fruit in season position and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prosper. God wants you to stay in position. So the first part of the three part reveal process out of Proverbs 13, 22 that reads, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children, chosen, and the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. The first part of that is position. A good man, an honorable man, a righteous man. And God revealed to me, you want to know how important position is? Look at Jabez. Look at Jabez. First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. Watch what it says. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. We're still talking about stewardship. We're still talking about implementing biblical principles into your everyday activity, regardless of where you're at in life. If you're a fireman, introduce and implement God's principles so you can get to the end result expectation. If you're a lawyer, introduce, implement God's strategies of stewardship into your daily activities so you can get to the end result. If you're a teacher, if you're selling t-shirts at the swap beat, implement, introduce the principles that God has given you on stewardship so you can get to the end result expectations. Stop doing what the world does. Change your habits in the position where you are. God wants to grow you right where you are. We make the mistake of bouncing. Ooh, I got something new. We bounce. Ooh, I see something new. We bounce. Ooh, I heard this new thing. We bounce. This is the reason people say, well, oh, do you do options? No. Now, we do have a team of people that does options. They do puts, calls, and options. Not me, because at this point, I got blinders on. And the reason God has me on blinders, because he said, I want you to master individual stock trades so you can get a return for the people. That's my calling. That's where I'm at. That's the position I'm in. That's my position of purpose. So I got tunnel vision. Oh, you were called to be a pastor. Then Pastor. Y'all ain't talking to me. When God places you in a position of purpose, he provides for that position he placed you in. Those are called provisions. Why are you doing seven other different things? Because now you can't even focus. You need to get tunnel vision on what God told you to do. Y'all don't want to talk to me. First Chronicles, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. God said position is the first part. And we're just talking about position. There's a three-part process revealed out of Proverbs 13, 22. A good man, a righteous man, an honorable man. Those are three different translations. God sent me to 1 Chronicles 4 and 9. Y'all got the prayer of Jabez. But God said, the reason why I'm showing you Jabez is because Jabez was in position. He did all three parts. The second part after position is vision. So wait a minute. I got to be in position and have a vision. <laughs> Hallelujah. When God gives you a position or purpose, he gives you a revelation. That revelation shows you the end result expectation. It shows you living in a bigger house. It shows you preaching to a larger congregation. It shows you prophesying. It shows you teaching. It shows you finishing law school. It shows you being the best police officer in the land. It shows you teaching at the college you want to teach at. That's the end result. That's the vision. Those are the end result expectations. That's why God, when he gives us something, he shows us the end. He showed Moses the promised land, even though he wasn't going to get there. Let me show you the end. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what God will do. So you got to have a vision while you're in position. And while you're in position, you got to be gathering, studying, learning. Are you in position? You got to be looking around about the people, the places and the things. You've got to maintain your position because in order to be blessed while you're in position, God said there's a couple of things that you need to do. There's a couple of things that you can't do. Y'all better talk to me. While you're in position, I'm going back to Psalms 1.1. While you're in position, don't walk and step with the wicked. While you're in position, don't stand in the way the sinners take. While you're in position, don't sit in the company of mockers. While you're in position, delight in the law of the Lord. Meditate on his law day and night. While you're in position, be like a tree planted by the streams of water. While you're in position, let your fruit yield its season when it comes. When your season comes, you'll know. But while you're there, keep working. While you're there, keep praying. While you're there, keep studying. Because you're in that position and God wants to grow you right where you are. All this is stewardship principles. You want to be wealthy. You don't want to be rich. 
Riches for the world, wealth is generational wealth. It does not include just monetary. It includes a legacy of learning. It includes houses, cars, businesses. It includes operational things that keep moving even after you stop. I love it. God shows us an example every day. We are without no excuse. Hey guys, listen, I've been with you already. It's already 30 minutes. I don't like to go longer than an hour. This is the after, this is evening bell. I know what we call evening bell after the bell. <laughs> Let me go back into that. So we have four neighborhood managed group portfolios that you can join right now and get a dollar for dollar match. Doesn't, if you're an active investing member, you've already joined. So if you've already joined, the question would be is, have you been put into your message boards that are that are equivalent to the neighborhoods you've joined. So if you join the domestic group investment fund portfolio, are you in the DGIF message board? If you haven't friended me or liked me or followed me, then that maybe you're not in there. My team couldn't put you in there. How about the minority urban mix fund? Are you a member of the minority urban mix fund? Because if you are a member of the minority urban mix fund, you're supposed to be in the minority urban neighborhood. How about the tax savings family fund group portfolio? Are you a member of the tax savings family fund group portfolio? Because if you are, you're supposed to be on that, that neighborhood. Every one of these are neighborhood managed group portfolios. They operate and function just like our neighborhood. They're just virtual. There's 100 people that can live in each of these neighborhoods. How about the family first savings fund? Are you a member? Because if you are, if you're invested in that portfolio, you're supposed to be in the message boards and getting updates. The message board is nothing but Facebook Messenger. So let's stop right here for a moment. That means that you need to look me up on Facebook and, and I'm in there because I post stuff. If you write, if you click on my name, it'll go up there. You can message me. What's up, family? Hey, Cordell, how are you? Hallelujah. That's my cousin. That's my young cousin living the life, living the dream up there in the, in the DMV. And he's doing things right. God has called him to a position of purpose. And whatever purpose God has called him, he placed this man in the right position to do what he has to do. And he continues to, to, to strive. He continues to, 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 to nurture what God is play, where God has placed him at. And when you do that, all you're going to do is grow. Anyway, y'all ain't talking to me. Anyway, so four neighborhood managed group portfolios to get a dollar for dollar match. You got to join one or all four. Once you get the match, then we divide it up to the available portfolios. There are nine out of the nine. Hey, Pastor Rucker, how are you? Senior Pastor Donald Rucker, how are you? Glory be unto your name, God. We got everything straight for you, man of God. Not putting your business out there, but everything's corrected. Hallelujah. Um, and we thank and praise God for you, man of God, you and First Lady, Elect Lady Ethel for, uh, for your forgiveness. Because we all make mistakes. And so I took the brunt. Uh, somebody said when they were running for president, the buck stops here. The buck got to stop with me. As God put me in a position of purpose, you got a problem, you got a concern, you got a question, unanswered, or you got a concern. Call me, text me, tweet me. Doesn't matter. I'm there every day. God has pulled me off. We sold the dealerships. We're in a different position of purpose now. So we can help more. So now this person invested $600. They, they joined all four of the, of the portfolios that required them to get a dollar for dollar match. And we took the match and we put them in one, two, three, four, five, six. This person is in six portfolios. There are nine, but three of them are at capacity. So this person can only get into six. So they're in the DGIF, all cannabis, domestic group investment fund portfolio. They're in the minority urban mix fund, MUMF. They're in the tax savings family fund, TSFF. They're in the Family First Savings Fund, FFSF, sound like a uh, tongue twister. They're in the Emerging Markets Equity Fund portfolio. What's the Emerging Markets? They invest in companies that do business in the U.S. or does business on the exchange, but not necessarily sell their product or services in the U.S. It is a high risk portfolio, but it has a high return because it invests in emerging markets, Africa, India, China. The China markets open up soon. We're watching Bloomberg. And they're going to start talking about the Asian markets. That means that India market's about to open. It's a different time there. And why do we watch those markets? Those markets can help us indicate. We want to gather information because before we make a trade based on biblical principles, watch this. In all of your getting, while doing all of your studying, you need to get an understanding. 
That's simple. So we look for verifiable, accurate, real-time information. That's why I watch Bloomberg. They don't teach me how to trade. They don't teach me how to implement stewardship principles. They provide information. So we have to weed through the information. And all of that getting, I get a lot of information. Get an understanding. Don't let all that fool you or don't let all that confuse you or don't let all that overwhelm you. We're looking for information. God has already given us the principles on what to do. You just need verifiable, real-time, accurate information. Then you can make a, a wise decision. What's next, Lord? So the emerging markets allows me to get information on what's going on. A lot of the companies that trade in the Asian markets also trade on the American exchange. It also let me know what's going on in that country, because if it's a communist country, it's a Chinese meme stock. It might be time to sell. Why? Because I got the information. That's why it's important. So the last one is the penny stock member portfolio. So out of the nine, four, they got in this particular person with six hundred dollars, got a six hundred dollar match. Their portfolio is worth twelve hundred bucks. So they automatically was put in a position of purpose because God's looking for a return. Matthew twenty five and fourteen. When you start reading that talks about the man that left his servants with five bags of gold, two bags of gold, one bag of gold. It goes on to say that the one that had five bags of gold immediately went out and doubled his money, immediately went out and got five more. So what we do with the dollar for dollar match, money that comes from dividends, from stocks we invest in throughout the nine neighborhood managed group portfolios, we give it back and invest in our members. This member put up $600. We gave him $600. Immediately, just like the scripture said, immediately they went out and got, they got a dollar for dollar match. Immediately. So now they're in a position of purpose. They're in the right position that God would have them to be in because if everything didn't work out, they at least got double their money. <laughs> Hallelujah. Only God can work that thing out. Matthew 25 and 14. You need to read that. And I'm giving you scriptures that are based on biblical stewardship. And I'm going to just give you a little bit of it. But um, 25 and 14. And it says, again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. So that's what God doing. See, he's giving you a parable and God entrusted his wealth to us. See, the problem is you think you own something, but you don't. You're a manager. You're a manager. That's why we teach you how to be better stewards of God's time. Twenty four hours. He woke you up this morning. Lose your everlasting mind because he gave you a chance to finish the work. I had a testimony this morning. If y'all missed that pop-up profit opportunity, we woke up this morning. I get up every morning at 2.30. This particular day, I was just feeling tired. And I thought it was my body feeling tired. When I finally did get up, came downstairs, started working right here at my desk in my living space, I smelled gas. Oh, yeah, gas. And I couldn't pin it. I went over and I didn't. And I got up and I said, well, I don't know what that is. Didn't hear nothing. And I sit right off from the kitchen. I sat there for another 20 minutes. I did the word. I, I, I loaded up my systems. And the Holy Spirit said, get up. You smell gas. I got up. I went to the kitchen. And then I heard it. Gas been running. We don't even know how long they've been running. But to God be the glory. You understand me? Anything could have happened last night. A spark. Anything. I could have lit a candle this morning. Don't know how long it's been going. We were asleep. But I will tell you this. Hallelujah. Yay, God. I will tell you this. He woke me up this morning to finish the work. That's why you lose your everlasting mind and give God all the praise. Because regardless of what the enemy had planned for you, the Bible says it. He is out to kill me. You heard them. We, us. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter whose fault it was, who left it on. God woke us up to finish the work. He will make a way out of nowhere. What the enemy meant for your bad, God meant for your good. I opened up all the windows, cut the gas off, make sure it's still lit because I got one of the electric gas stoves, but that thing was and you can smell the gas. Who else but God? <laughs> Hallelujah. And God reminded me, because of your in position, I needed you up this morning. I needed you to finish the work. There were some things I needed you to say, some things, some places I needed you to go, some people I needed you to smile at. See, part of the work that we do is being called to a position of purpose. 
Some of y'all, like me, wear many hats. I'm a husband, one hat. Love your wife like Christ loved the church. I'm a preacher. Preach the word. How can he preach lest he been sent? How can they hear the word of God? The Bible says, how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach lest they've been sent? It goes on to say further, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that's my second hat. I'm a father. That's my third hat. I'm a grandfather. That's my fourth hat. I'm a fiduciary and CEO of investment group partners, a called ministry that oversees community investment club. That's my fifth and sixth and seventh hat. <laughs> Hallelujah. God will place you in a position of purpose, but he didn't say move from that position. I need you to grow in that position. Anyway, guys, my name is Harold Doom Jr., Internet Guy. Prayerfully, you guys got an understanding on tonight. Um, we're going to do why buys every single night that God would allow. The why buy series is set up for you to learn why we do what we do. Why we do what we do. Not just why we buy the stock, but why would you make that move anyway? Why would you only hold seven? Why you only do this in the morning? Why you don't do it at night? That I want you to know because the moves that we make are biblically based. When God gives you a revelation, he also gives you a preparation period. The revelation is just the beginning. You see the end result. Now get ready so you can get there. Because the road there may be tougher than you think it is. But see, this is where God puts us together. This is where we as a culture fail because we don't want to do stuff together. But God has been blessing us. We went from five guys <laughs> in 2020 that started investment group partners. We're now up to 1,500 members. We have a full board and new officers about to come in in 2024. I'm super excited. We're about to reinitiate re before you buy. You got a business right now, you better get in. If you're selling t-shirts, you got a business, you got a service, you got a product, it's $12 a year, you better get in right now because come January, we're going back to our normal stuff, And but it's an advertising initiative. You better get in right now. So before you buy, go to the website, sign up. I put a link in there to where you can fill out the pages. If you got a business, you want to get your permit business promoted, participate in the advertising initiative. We started a new brokerage account, Fidelity. That's where the training is going to start. We're going to start right there. So we're, we're not that E-Trade is a bad place, but we switched over to Fidelity. Fidelity is a much better platform for us for based on what we do and at the capacity that we do it. Fidelity is our new brokerage account. We sent out uh, links to that if you want to go ahead and sign up. If you need more information, let me know or contact one of the officers. Uh, we have interim officers. You have uh, Kimberly um, Schofield. Kimberly Schofield is our CFO. You've got a question or comment, you can reach out to her. Ivory Hayes, she is our, our interim uh, chief investment officer. She helps me with trades. Uh, she's part of the collaboration team. She's the main trader on the floor. If you want to learn more about puts, options, you want to talk to Ivory, they have their own uh, little company inside of a company. Um, our, one of our presidents is Derek Stewart. You want to learn more about cryptocurrency. You want to learn about our platform and our, and our process and procedures. You want to talk to either Derek Stewart, who's our president, or Dwayne Brown, who's our vice president. All of these folks can be found in the groups that you're in, in the neighborhoods you live in. We have a social media marketing team. The director for social media is Nicholas Mills. We have a membership services director. Her name is Joyce Washington. These are interim positions. This, all this is transferring over January 2024 so I can do more, have tunnel vision of what God will want us to do. This is why the Bible says, know them that labor among you. You want to reach out and get to your next level, then you've got to delegate authority. You've got to ask God to send people in your space where you're growing at to help you move. Because until you grow this space, you're not going to be elevated. Don't think that. The enemy, the enemy will fool you. God wants you to finish what you started. Finish what you started. That generation couldn't even leave the desert till they finished what they started. And, and, and it's following rules and regulations. They're not hard. God didn't make this to be hard. He just made it to be obedient. You already got habits. All you got to do is change your habits. To relate to what God would want you to do. Change your mind. Change your habits. Change your outcome. Hey guys, this is Harold Jr., the Internet Guy. Have a great evening.